Hello everyone, my name is Matt and today I will be providing a more in-depth look at how to share tickets you have created with members of your organization using the One Call Access program. Inside the One Call Access program, you have the ability to share the tickets you create with other members of your team. This will allow them to view your tickets and also make actions to the tickets you have created. This video will only be covering specific features within the One Call Access system. Due to this, we will be skipping over some portions of the One Call Access program. We have a video on our YouTube page that provides a more comprehensive look at the One Call Access program. If you would like more information about how to use the program to create and manage your tickets, we recommend watching that video first. I'll include a link to that video in the video description below. Before we demonstrate how to share tickets with other users, it's important to note that you are only allowed to share tickets with members of your own organization. This feature is not meant to be used to share tickets with other excavator companies or subcontractors who may be doing similar work at a similar location. Excavators who are performing work as a subcontractor will need to create their own tickets to accurately describe the nature, scope, and location of the work they will be performing at the site. Once you have logged into the program, you can click on Ticket Sharing This window will display each share link that you have in the system. A share link is a request that you or other users have made to share tickets with each other. In the top ribbon, you will have access to sort through the list of share links based on different criteria. We will show more examples of how this looks after I have shared my tickets with other users and accepted requests to view and edit others' tickets. To make a new request, click on Action in the top right-hand corner. Then click Share. A side menu will open up where you will be required to fill out specific information. First off, we want to make sure this share link is active so the user we are sharing tickets with will be able to access our tickets. Then we need to enter either the username or email of the member in our organization who we want to share the tickets with. If you would like to share your tickets with only a specific person in your organization, then we recommend that you put their username in this field. Since usernames are unique for each person who creates an account, these tickets would only be shared with that specific user. You can also choose to share tickets with users who have a specific email address. Keep in mind that any user who listed that email address on their account will receive a request to view or edit your tickets depending on the settings you've chosen. If your organization has decided to use the same email address for each user who creates an account in the One Call Access system, then this might be a useful way to easily share tickets with every member of your organization who has an account in One Call Access. You can also select a date and time that the user will have access to tickets you create, as well as a date and time that the access will be revoked. If you leave these fields blank, the user will have immediate access to your tickets indefinitely. Don't worry though, you will have the ability to edit the permissions later if needed. Then we need to choose whether this user will have the ability to make actions on our tickets or just be able to view the tickets. If you would like the user to be able to make actions to the tickets you create, select read slash write. If you would like the user to only be able to see details of your tickets and not be able to make actions on them, select read only. Now we will need to select whether the user will be able to see every ticket I have ever created or only have access to the tickets I have created after they accept my request to share my tickets. Once you have made the appropriate selections, click the save icon to send the share link. A pop-up window will appear with a brief disclaimer about sharing tickets. Once you agree to the disclaimer and click the submit button, the share link will be sent. The user who you invited to share your tickets with will now receive a notification in their One Call Access account. I have logged into another account to show what this process looks like. As you can see, there is a notification icon next to the ticket sharing option that tells me how many notifications I have waiting for me. I'll click on the ticket sharing option and you'll notice that I have a new share link listed here. I can also see details about who shared the link and the parameters on the access I will have to these tickets. 
When I click on the share link, the same side menu will open up displaying the specific settings that this user chose when sharing their tickets with me. At the bottom of the menu, I can accept the share link by clicking accept. A pop-up window will appear with the same disclaimer about sharing tickets. Once you agree to the disclaimer, you will have access to these tickets. I'll exit out of the window, and now I have a link to that user's tickets listed here. I can click the View Tickets button to open a list of this user's tickets. This will take you to the Ticket History section, where you will now have access to view this user's tickets. You can also find these tickets again by going to the History section and filtering the tickets by selecting Active Sharing. The system will display all the tickets that are currently being shared with you. I can now click on a specific ticket to see the ticket details, mapping, and affected utility members. If I click the Actions button, I will be able to make secondary actions to the ticket, as well as download the confirmation sheet. If I have read-only permissions, then I will only be able to download the confirmation sheet of the ticket I am viewing. It's also important to remember that the program is state-specific, so if you are an excavator who submits tickets in both California and Nevada, you will need to repeat this process for both the California and Nevada versions of the OneCall Access program. At any time, you are able to edit a current share link that you have sent to another user. I have logged back into my other account where I sent the original ticket share link to show how this process works. In the ticket sharing menu, you can click on a specific share link to open the settings menu. After clicking the pencil icon, you can edit any of the information for this share link. If you wish to revoke this user's access to your tickets, you can select Inactive and save the changes. The user will still see your share link in their account, but when they click on the View Tickets button, your tickets will no longer be visible. If you have any additional questions or concerns regarding ticket sharing in the OneCall Access system, please reach out to our Web Operations Department at weboperations at usan.org.